All right, time for another uh, dev board fun uh, video. Um, this time I'm going to show Exagear with Exagear Desktop with uh, uh, Steam running. Uh, this is the uh, Linux version of Steam, not the Windows one. All right, so logging into the shell. As you can see, this takes uh, a little bit of time, but it appears to run pretty well when it is working. All right, so uh, as you may know, um, I don't have 3D acceleration working yet. Uh, one thing that is kind of cool is this thing uh, seems to handle streaming, but it's still without 3D acceleration, or it may be CPU limited, but uh, it's kind of chunky with streaming. Um, let's see. I mean, I'll do a a large example like uh oh, why not let's do Borderlands 2 for streaming One thing I think it might be because I'm streaming from a my Linux box but for some reason audio is not coming through the speaker uh I can hear it on my desktop speakers from far back And as you can see, it says slow network and decode. As you can see, you know, the video is slightly chunky. I also reduced the quality of the stream to try to increase performance a little bit on the pirate end, but... If it is just a GPU limitation, it might be actually pretty uh, usable. Oh, come on, the any key. Don't fail me now. Oh, I'm going to check my desktop real quick. As I suspected, my uh, screensaver kicked in on the other side. Apparently, if there's no keyboard input in Linux, it causes some trouble. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, a little chunky. I'll get in the game just to... Amazingly, there doesn't seem to be that much of a lag, but it's pretty chunky. But, okay, so that that shows what the streaming can do, but let's try a native game. Or as in native, as in an x86 game that's installed on 
the actual uh, pyra. So, I'll change the view to game. Right, where's uh, don't normally use this. Uh, there we go. Local three. All right. So I installed two low end ones just to try it. Half life is kind of chunky, but uh, the one of the ones that seems to run. Uh, semi decent well as in it will probably be run full speed no problem if 3d acceleration was working As you can see, yeah, kind of chunky, but I have a good feeling that this will run very well when 3D acceleration is working. As you can see, it seems to work semi decent ish. Now I'm a tad disappointed in Half-Life mostly because I think this ver this version sort of pins you into a higher resolution than what the original version of Half-Life could do. Or at least it it could do it, but it won't let you go below uh, 1024 by 768 and and it forces you to open GL and there's no way of getting it into software mode. Yeah, the the only option is OpenGL. An amazing. So, I did uh, 
And I'll try running it without a window just for... Actually, disabling the high def models, that might be something good. Alright, let's give it a try. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Church System. This auto-in train is provided via the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. This may be a bug in uh, like floating point conversion or something. I'll try that and resume it. Yeah, so, a little disappointing on that end. Um, could try some other things. Uh, but Steam itself seems to run pretty good. Uh, it's fairly, fairly responsive to go through the menus and such. Uh, uh, kind of curiosity has me on streaming a game like Hammer Watch, which um, I did try to download this Hammer Watch itself. It, something with Mono is not liking it, so Yeah, uh, something's weird with the, uh, I think my screensaver kicked in again. There you go, got my cursor back. off some of the uh there that might speed things up slightly maybe
Uh, right, I had that set up too as a controller, but oh well. Well, so this things work. Not everything that well. Um, you know, uh, most of the stuff I have installed for streaming, uh, I only have two games there. Um, like, most of the stuff I don't really expect to work great. Um, if I did install it locally, um, maybe Torchlight 2 may be kind of a, an interesting thing, but I still think that's still overly demanding. Um... But, okay, so that's kind of my quick preview, and uh, I guess I'll see you later.